Would the weapons from Zelda Breath of the Wild work as actual weapons? Hey, I'm Marcus. I got a new phone right here, which means a new camera and new microphone. Please let me know if you see any difference in quality whatsoever. The Ancient Battle Axe isn't so much an axe as, hello. The Ancient Battle Axe isn't so much an axe as, you know, a double, get over here. The Ancient Battle Axe isn't so much an axe as a double-bladed sword, but not like end-to-end -end like Darth Maul, just two blades next to each other. And on the surface, this seems really weird. Because if you're going to have a sword that's just a wide sword, then you could just have a regular single-bladed sword and make it pretty wide. However, that would probably be pretty heavy, so actually giving it two different blades makes a lot of sense, and it is kind of weird that the inside of these blades are sharpened. However, that just means that those blades are thinner, so less weight there. This allows you to have more forward blades and back- stop biting. More forward blades and backward blades without having the same weight as a sword like the Buster Sword. So it's kind of like a semi-logical version of that. It could work. It'd be weird because, you know, the sword tangs go into the handle and this would have to be like a kind of forked tang thing. Otherwise, it'd be pretty darn fragile. It would be difficult- stop biting! It would be difficult to make work, but you could make it work. The Savage Lionel sword is way too big to be an actual sword. And so is the Savage Lionel Crusher. I'm kind of sensing a theme from the Savage Lionel weapons. The Royal Broadsword seems quite usable. The blade's a bit big, there's not much of a bevel, but, you know, that's pretty common in video- Get, get out of there! That's pretty common in video game swords. And the cross guard looks like it would be quite heavy, but, you know, it would function as a sword. The Guardian Sword looks like it would make more sense in Cyberpunk 2077, However, the profile itself, if we disregard the fact that it's, you know, made of energy stuff... Get out of here! This dog's crazy. The blade profile itself would function as a blade. There's a lot of serrations, which aren't exactly ideal for cutting into things too well without using a sawing motion, contrary to what Demon Slayer might have you believe. But, you know, you could deal damage to people and things with it, so it would work as a sword. The Scimitar of the Seven, you've probably heard me say that I don't like the term Scimitar because it's both kinda eh and also very nonspecific. This sword is quite beefy, however, it does look like there is a significant bevel from the back end there going all the way to the blade, so that means that at the very edge of the blade, it would probably be pretty thin, so it would probably be decently wieldable. Especially given that it has a complex guard, which would add more weight to your hand, which would shift the point of balance closer to you. So I think this one would be heavy, but okay. The Sword of Six Sages does have that bad bevel thing. It also has a weird cross guard going down into where your hands are thing, so kind of weird, but otherwise pretty functional. The Edge of Duality is really big, but it has a really long handle and has two fullers in the blade, so might be quite functional. I personally probably couldn't use it though, because it'd be too heavy for me, but might be not heavy for some people. The Demon Carver is really weird, you know, circle thing. It would kind of act more like an axe than a sword, but, I mean, I think it would still be usable. The weight would balance itself out some. If you were really good with it, you could use it to, like, trap people. You know, like, put their head inside the ring. Not exactly the best weapon to have on a hilt. You know, they make more sense as thrown weapons, like chakrams. But it, it could be functional.